Hey guys, so this was the best roasting I have seen in Magic the Gathering in some very, very long time. So LSV, as I've alluded to, as many people have alluded to, uh, he left his spouse. I believe his spouse was pregnant at the time to get together with Gabby Sparts, who was a far more attractive female than the spouse he was leaving. Now, Gabby Sparts, her last name, Sparts, is actually from her husband. So I believe she was married. I'm not going to get into the details of that today. But um, yeah, so Jeremy, uh, not from Unsleep Media, although that would be hilarious too. Uh, I know this Jeremy, Missouri MTG. And... That was the best and most epic comeback I have ever seen. So LSV is asking to be roasted as, you know, magic celebrities do from time to time. I remember when one, I think it was Eric Froelich's wife, Athena, said, hey, send me your best memes right after the entire Magic the Gathering meme Facebook group, which was private, was banned, including T-Woo. So I'm basically saying that these professional magic players or content creators are telling you to roast them so they can get you banned because that is exactly what happened. But anyway, Jeremy says, and I do know Jeremy, um, what did he used to be before? He used to, he was always doing MTG finance, but he was called like Zemet, Lengthy Zemet. That was his channel. Wow. It has been a long time ago. But that was the most epic and perfect burn, and LSV couldn't say anything uh, because it's true. And it's not like you could just falsify this evidence, right? There's been lots of evidence, and it actually happened, so it wasn't too difficult to prove, and there's no way he can disprove something like this. So anyway, this was pretty hilarious, and I do enjoy a good roasting, even at my own expense. Uh, which I do get roasted sometimes on various media. But this is perfect because it shows you how hypocritical. First of all, their LSV is saying this so he can get you banned. So anyone who says something bad about LSV will now be banned. That is the only reason that he is making this comment of please roast me so I can take down your names and report you to Wizard of the Coast a la the meme group, which all got banned. Uh, some of them were banned for life. And T-Woo got his pro tour taken away from him. Which again, I mean, when your livelihood is Magic the Gathering, yeah, that does mean a very, very, that does mean a ton um, in terms of your livelihood because you're expected to make at least a little bit of money from that. So I think it's pretty funny that the Magic the Gathering content creators take a holier than thou. And this is not the only person who left his wife for a hotter female employee. And in this case, I'm talking about someone who left for an employee that was directly underneath him and then had to be fired from Star City Games. Or did they mutually separate? Something happened. I mean, the dude was Star City Games for a long time. When you thought Star City Games, you saw Evan, right? You were like, oh, Mr. Orange, Star City Games. And then the altercation happened. Da da da. Uh, anyway, I actually appreciate roses like this because it just shows you um, how pious and how you know celebrity MTG works. Is everyone is out to? How can I say this in a term that won't offend all of you? The Magic of the Gathering is not a typical social gathering correct there it's people who are interested in a card game which is heavily dependent on fantasy elements and artwork and math so i think when you have a famous person in this very like outside magic the gathering it is not likely anyone knows who lsv is uh, remember the uh, woman from Gizmo who dated John Finkel? And I would say John Finkel at the time was more famous than LSV. And then she found out he was a magic champion and then wrote this uh, Gizmo article about how nauseating John Finkel was. And, you know, it was a very, you can still Google the article. Um, I think her name was Alyssa. Well, that's how most people view Magic the Gathering players. Nauseating. 
just ask John Finko. He had the direct experience about this. So I think um, it is very, very interesting that the celebrities are doing this, or the MTG celebrities think they have enough clout to do this and survive, when they, they fully know that they have done bad things in the past. They have either cheated, they have stolen from you know cheating, they have created predatory environments uh, like Noah Bradley. I mean, Noah Bradley uses his celebrity very similar to LSV. If LSV one day gets in trouble like the Conley, Conley Woods was his best friend, wasn't he? Or was that Owen Turner owned? Both? So like when, I, let's say you have a group of friends and these are famous friends, Conley, LSV, Owen, and then like suddenly all your friends are predators. Well, that didn't happen just like, I mean, I know how people say, oh, well, you never knew. It's because you never cared to investigate. You never cared to know. I find it just very difficult and very appalling that, you know, like Rachel Bradley, for instance, Noah Bradley's wife, even being told by various people directly that I have been abused by your husband ignores it because he doesn't want to. Um, so he wants to benefit from the clout and Noah's clout and all of this stuff. Because I mean, just think about this for a moment. You have people who have behaved unethically, either stealing, cheating, lying, uh, being predators, leaving their pregnant wives or something like that, um, saying that, hey, roast me. That's how confident they are that they're above roasting. Their only reason LSV is going to say roast me because he wants everyone to clap and say, what a great guy you are, LSV. What a great guy you are. Now, uh, Jeremy is pretty interesting. I think he's a pretty nice guy. I've uh, We've obviously done live streams back in the day when there was only a few YouTube channels around. That was an absolute burn. That was an absolute burn. I mean, that was my favorite bar burn of the year because it summarized so well the magic community. You have a guy saying, roast me. He gets roasted. Luck, skill, victory, which is what he says his name means. More like leave spouse for vagina. And everyone reading this immediately knows what we're talking about, right? There's like no mystery right no mystery and, and gabby again she was married and i mean it's very you know it's very weird that like we supposedly look up to this individual and we surround this individual with little kids i mean i would not do that and i'm sure that there's going to be liabilities it's like if we surrounded little artists with no of no bradley went to elementary school to teach painting no no someone has to stop that Someone has to physically stop this from happening because we know that our Alex wants to join an f &M that has a $20 prize support. No, no. Someone physically has to stop Alex because he cannot control himself. He's going to do it. He's going to cheat. And he cheated and now he's banned for life. Finally. But a lot of these MTG celebrities, they think that we're idiots. Because they act and behave. I mean, that's what LSV thinks we are. He thinks that no one knows what's actually happening. So he's like, roast me. Roast me. Roast me. Um, and then he throws shade at a backpack salesman, right? That's what he says at Jeremy. But I would say that um, there's nothing to be proud of in Magic the Gathering at all. I'm not proud to be a Magic the Gathering player. I, if I hadn't been playing this game since I was in kindergarten or pre school, I would not be playing this game, continue playing the game. I'm already like so invested into it that like I can't stop. And I know that's very bad. That's sunken fallacy. I understand. I understand. I don't need you to tell me the psychology behind this. But my gosh, I am not proud to be part of a fan base where LSV is worshipped as a god for being ethical and kind and generous when like it's super obvious what he did was not cool. Hey, you want to cheat on your spouse? Well, maybe you should get a divorce for, for first, or maybe you wait until the baby's born. I don't know. There, there could be, there's probably a better way to do it than to do it right in front of everybody and in such a public arena. I mean, imagine that kid growing up. What, is Gabby his like 
stepmom now? I know it is. It's true. Actually, Gabby is uh, his stepmom. So, uh, that's weird. Like, imagine, like, knowing that your dad left because of this other woman who's now the stepmom. Kind of sounds like a Julia Roberts movie I watched that one time called Stepmom. Anyway, that's it. Best roast ever. Really great roast. Uh, props on, you know, thumbs up for Jeremy on the great roast on LSV.